the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation, the BREEF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned Dana Al Bin Ghadir Al Dosri as a champion of His Highness's Endurance 120 km Championship. The event was held at the Bahrain International Endurance Village with a wide participation from the royal team and local stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lauded the high technical level of the race, stressing that the success of the race came due to the great participation and the good results achieved by all participants in the race. His Highness expressed his optimism for this sport in the upcoming seasons on the local level given the outstanding results achieved by the competitors. Sheikh Nasser congratulated the championship winners and expressed his appreciation to the efforts exerted by all members of the committee working in the tournament affirming their key role in the success of this event which gained praise from this championship's followers. The Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation President and Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, praised the supporting role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in his follow up of the different stages of the championship, highlighting that it has reflected positively on the participants' performances, emphasizing His Highness's keenness to develop this sport. Sheikh Faisal added that the Federation will continue its work to achieve success in the future championships. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa attended last night's endurance race held at the Bahrain International Endurance Race Village. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure with the technical level shown by the night race. His Highness praised the active participation and outstanding performance of all stables and riders in the race. He said that endurance sports in Bahrain has achieved remarkable progress thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the great efforts exerted by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and the riders of all staples.
Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, honorary president of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabled, is Hanis Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Arab Gulf Award for Young Novelist 24 Hours kicked off yesterday. The event is organized by Al Watan newspaper in partnership with the media office of Hanis Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid and attended by 42 youngsters from Bahrain and other GCC countries. Upon his arrival, His Highness was welcomed by the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham Al Jodar, and the Executive Director of the a Cultural Center, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Bahrain Journalists Association, Mu'anis Al Mardi, Secretary General of the Award and Al Watan Editor in Chief, Yusuf Al Bin Khalil, owner of the Montreal Modern Company, Ibrahim Al Sheikh, and a number of sponsors and organizing committees. His Highness Sheikh Khalid underlined the support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to the youth. His Highness said that the reform project of His Majesty stresses on the importance of enhancing the role of culture in society and contributing to plan for a brighter future. His Highness Sheikh Khalid toured various sections of the event, praising the act of participation, which will have a great impact on the success of the event. During the tour, His Highness also met with the participants and thanked them for attending this award and wished them success. He also met with the first blind Bahraini novelist, Fatma Habel, and praised the great efforts exerted by her in writing the novels. The second edition of the Arabian Gulf Young Novelists Award was held today under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The competition comprises of a unique challenge to complete an entire novel within the span of 24 hours. 42 young participants from all over the GCC have taken part in the contest that will take place over two days. This is my first time to experience uh, an event like this. Uh, uh, and it's my first time to write a novel in 24 hours. Yeah, I have three previous novels, but I've written them in different timelines. Uh, so this is a totally new experience for me. Uh, I wanted to try. This is the first time I try um, something different like this. And I'm really proud that we're getting to, to have opportunities like this in our Arab words because I've read uh, about contests like this before but I'm so lucky to be a participant in one of them in Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, I think it's too important for them because it, uh, it's encouraged them to read because if you read you can write but you can't write without reading so it's, it's actually a good process you know of reading and writing uh, and, and if, they, if they wrote and if they, re uh, and, and if they read they will know how to think critically 
and that's a very good thing for young people. For me, I find that it's very good competition and it's a challenge. So the person, he can challenge himself whether he can write a novel within 24 hours or not. Although it's hard, I didn't expect it will be hard, but I'm enjoying it. I don't know about the outcoming, whether it will be a good novel or not, but I wanted to go through this experience. The organizing committee held an orientation seminar prior to the competition day, which included instructions and directives at the organizational, administrative and educational levels. Many of the participants are beginners, and for this reason the competition aims to nurture their talents and interests and give them a platform to express themselves and showcase their capabilities. This type of competition will help them to build on their uh, knowledge and uh, education and this one will encourage more people to read and to write, which is really uh, what we are looking for to have in uh, this generation. A number of established novelists from the Gulf were also in attendance to show their support for the writing community. Uh, this kind of awards gives the opportunity or provides the opportunity for all the youngest uh, writer who want to be writer and novelist uh, to have a platform, an official platform to just uh, start and jump from it to be a real novelist or a real writer. This kind of uh, torment or uh, an award will, give, will put the writer himself or the novelist or the young guy who is involved in this award to be under pressure, which will just give him the chance and the opportunity to write under pressure and, his, and show up uh, his skills. Uh, this kind of awards and uh, will give, uh, it will be an added value to the culture and voluntary in Bahrain, uh, which will be a very, very, very good start to any novelist or any writer or anyone who wants to be a writer. Big opportunity yeah, for the any young uh, and a writer, novelist, or who want to be a novelist uh, to get included and encouraging by putting himself under a pressure to, to write. This is a great opportunity for the young novelists uh, in the Gulf, and it will be definitely make them a uh, stronger uh, writer. And uh, thank you so much for this invitation. I'm so proud um, to be a part of this event. Uh, thank you also for Sheikh uh, Khaled uh, bin Hamad Al Khalifa uh, for the support. I think it's a good opportunity for the young novelists in order to be prepared for the field and uh, to accomplish uh, a, f a complete novel in 24 hours. It's it's a big challenge. Uh, and for us as a novelist, it cannot be done, but I respect this, uh, this uh, challenge. And maybe the ones who will be succeeded, they, they will be very, very strong. And I wish them all the best and I appreciate uh, all your effort here. And uh, we're happy to be in touch. This award is just one of the initiatives launched by His Highness Sheikh Khalid to support youth in the cultural field and develop their skills all the while promoting healthy competition and brotherly relations among the Gulf states. The Arabian Gulf Award for Young Novelists is truly a unique event and will complete its 24 hours tomorrow at 8 p.m. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman of the club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 21st horse racing meeting of the season at Trafah and Sakhir. It was held for the cups of the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the silver cup presented by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. Also present were Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners.
In response to directives from His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Works has commenced implementation of a second set of projects aimed at improving traffic congestions at a number of intersections. The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, stated that the Government Executive Committee had approved proposals for 15 projects submitted by the Ministry, which form part of a short term program of work designed to improve traffic workflow. The projects include the expansion of the airport high Highway interchange with Sheikh Salman Highway, the addition of a left turn from the Dry Dock Highway to Hatim al -Ta'i Highway in Hid, the addition of a right turn at the Dry Dock interchange Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Causeway, the creation of a right lane from Wali, Wali al Ahad roundabout to Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway, the addition of two left turns from Rafah Avenue to Muharraq Avenue, the expansion of Nasr bin Jabr al Jabr Avenue in Sif District, the revamp of Al Mahzura and Istiqlal Highway interchange in Rafah, a new access point from Sheikh Isa bin Salman Causeway to Psaitin area, the revamp of Avenue 47 in Senad, a revamp of signal controlled intersections along Sheikh Jabir al Ahmed al Sabah Highway, the construction of an exit point to Buri from Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Highway, the revamp of Avenue 41 from Road 4109 to Road 4013 in Isa Town's Educational District, the construction of a new access road to Salmabad, the construction of an access point from Sheikh Salman Highway to Riyadh Avenue in Isa Town, the expansion of Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman on highway from roundabout 6 to Wali al Ahd interchange. The minister confirmed that the urgent projects are part of a comprehensive plan aimed at developing the kingdom's road networks, which include the construction of tunnels and flyovers and the expansion of Bahrain's main highways. All projects will take between three to five years to complete. He highlighted that the ministry has successfully implemented nine projects as part of the first phase of the works. This includes the creation of new access and exit points at Zayed Town and Haurat Ali, new lanes of Budaya roundabout and additional lanes along Sheikh Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway at its intersection with Sheikh Salman Highway. Al Hamala Cultural and Charity Society held yesterday at the Cultural and Sports Solidarity Club Stadium the 11th National Mass Wedding for 240 brides and grooms from both sects. The celebration was held in the presence and under the patronage of the head of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Society's Honorary President Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The ceremony was also attended by Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, Chief Executive of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, members of the Royal Family, members of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Hussein Al Asfur, Head of the Jafri Endowments, Sheikh Mohsen Al Asfur, Northern Governor Ali Al Asfur, members of the Representative Council, dignitaries, senior officials, and invitees. Sheikh Salman affirmed the Bahraini Society's cooperation among its members, which its foundations were laid by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also praised a mass wedding, which strengthens cohesions between the two sects and stressed that this ceremony reflects the directives of the wise leadership towards a social life based on harmony and compassion. Sheikh Mohsen Al Asfur commended such outstanding social initiatives which increase cohesion between both sects. President of Al Hamala Cultural and Charity Society, Habib Abdul Rasul Mubarak, thanked the sponsors and dignitaries who attended the 11th mass wedding, as well as the well wishers who turned out at the club to congratulate them. The delegation of Bahrain's parliamentary division participated today in the 138th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union held from the 24th to the 28th of March in Geneva. The assembly began with the participation of the Bahraini delegation in the coordinating meeting of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly, where Shura Council First Deputy Chairman Jamal Fakhro made a request to support the proposal of Bahrain to ensure that the historical and legal status of Jerusalem is not compromised, which was supported by parliamentary groups. The delegation also participated in the Forum of Women Parliamentarians in a number of proposals and interventions that highlight the role of the Bahraini woman and her active participation in many positions and fields in Bahrain. Member of the Parliamentary Division, Dr. Sousan Taqawi, discussed the promotion of equal opportunities and women's political representation. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 39,144,000 shares worth 9,488,000 Bahraini dinars conducted through 340 transactions. Investors traded in 17 companies, 10 witnessed a decline in shares and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector and the investment sector came in second.
The CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sheikh Khaled bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, inaugurated the renovated Diplomat Radisson Blue Hotel re Residence and Spa. The renovation included 246 guest rooms, hotel lobby, and the main restaurant. A new designs have also been added to the new cafe. The total cost of the project amounted to 7.4 million Bahraini dinars, which comes as part of the National Hotel's company expansion plans aligned with the tourism growth and increasing market demand. Developing the tourism facilities and services will further enhance the kingdom's tourism infrastructure and attract more visitors.